So today we're wrapping up the double hood. It's a 15 and a half foot hood. So it's two seven and three quarter foot hoods. Uh, they'll have two 2400 CFM fans. Once that's done, uh, we'll do another mock fit up with the equipment to make sure everything's gonna fit properly. We'll uh, start to engineer the propane system, uh, the electrical system, and uh, the water system. He's cutting out a vent slot for the vents to be curved on top so that the air is pumped outside. Angle line here, and we're going to weld it all together and take it through the metal and make a base for it. We're going to be holding two 100 pound propane tanks. The Holstein Fry Leader. Uh, came shipped direct from Holstein. We always recommend customers go and buy their own equipment. That way they know they're getting the best price available. And so the idea is that they could save themselves usually about two to three thousand bucks by drop shipping their own equipment right to us. All right, we're good. This holds all of the fresh water for the concession. 36 gallons of it. So we're gonna wrap it in diamond plate. Might have to go in there with the grinder and yeah. grind some of that out because this, this needs to really sit in there nice and flush. Basically what the customer will see is this, but with this part hanging out. So they have a place to fill up their water tank. And look nice and neat. Mark it with two lines and then take it back and weld it here. Cause we want to be able to put this all up in like one piece. You're just making it just so much more rigid that there's no way it's ever going anywhere. Once we're done welding everything, we're just going to spray it black spray paint. This way here will prohibit it from rusting. Yeah, make sure you go across. There you go. You make it across? Yeah. We're cutting out a hole for a generator so they can operate it from the inside, but the exhaust and the fill and everything will be mounted on the outside. It goes like right up to the edge, it's about an inch out, you know, and then it goes all the way around. So if we leave that one edge that comes out to the very edge of the truck right here, yeah. if we leave that on, you'll be able to secure it here, secure it here, and if I just put one diagonally, then you're gonna secure it here and here. Oh, okay. We've actually installed the water tank. We've run the water line inside that we'll be hooking up to our water heater. And this is our fill station. So all they do is unplug it, unscrew it, they plug in their hose, they're ready to fill up. So we put another one right here on the edge. Yeah. And we can secure the latch yeah, to that. If you put another one there on the, on the edge, then it, it interferes with getting the gas. Oh, it does it? Okay. Yeah. By the hinge on the inside. Yeah. And then you know you need you know good good yeah, size this, You're not going to get that out of this. So just grab a different piece. Then. Yeah. On the outside here, all we have left is to mount the propane tanks. What we just want to do is make it so that way on the inside, kind of covered. Actually, pot flips around, sits up against the wall, so we can screw all this in right through that. And then when you see underneath, it'll look, it'll look enclosed. We've got all the stainless steel walls up. We started working on all the trim. We've got all the electric in. We've installed dedicated 110 volt, 20 amp circuits for things like refrigerators rice cookers, blenders, the PLS system. What we've done is ran 
uh, electric up to the roof as well for outdoor lights to illuminate their outdoor sign. We run speakers on the outside so we can um, offer them a PA system so they can call for their customers as they place orders and they're ready. We've installed two uh, 40 volt uh, electric panel. We've installed a generator switch to allow them to run either on the landline or the generator line. We're going to have a propane on-demand hot water heater. Basically, it's all ready to get finished up and uh, bolted up. And then we're going to work on putting all the equipment in, finish up a few trim pieces, and this concession build will be all done. Right, turn it on. Good. We'll, we'll flip it all up here. So what are these for? These are for the hood, these are for the outdoor lights. So, this so, is, so if I turn them on, will the outdoor lights be on? No, because they're not, they're not installed yet. Okay. So the generator power, this is your landline power. So the, the outlet that we put on the outside, the 50 amp outlet, uh -huh. this will supply everything in the truck will work off of this line. When you do a generator, you can only pick the six most important things for these circuits. We're actually finishing up at the North End Deli uh, concession trailer. As you can see, we've got the triple sink installed. And since space is always an issue, we found a creative way to put the gray tank in right underneath the steam table. And then we'll exit it right out through the bottom with a one and a half inch PVC ball valve. So that way they can then put it right into their grease trap back at their commissary. So it's a four bay uh, steam table. They're all individually controlled. So if you have certain products that need to stay over 140 or certain products that want to stay over 160, you can control them individually. The whole load center is all um, installed as well as the switch for the um, generator. Essentially right now we're running on the regular landline 50 amp connection that's connected to the load center. Everything we've already tested at this point. We've gone to check, make sure the hoods are working. You know, the outside lights, the inside lights, and then these are for the outside uh, controls as well. So essentially, this point we've got to do some finished wiring put some of the uh, mic wiring up behind the trim and the rest of the speaker wire up behind the trim we got to caulk all of the uh, diamond plate to make it all sealed up then we got the rest of the fire suppression system in uh, this system is built by ProTech it's got two individual bottles since it is a 15 and a half foot hood uh, we have some finished trim to do on the hood and then we can throw in the, uh, the filters and all the other drip pan so as you come along, you'll start to see all of our three quarter inch propane uh, trunk line. We have the shutoff valve that's all connected to the fire suppression system. So whether you're building a food truck or a regular kitchen in a uh, you know, pizzeria or a deli or anything like that, every single gas appliance should have it, its own shutoff valve. The reason why we install these manifolds is so that way we can leave a space for someone to reach in and just turn off the appliances you know, if they needed to. Keep in mind that the fire system is here to protect you from a fire, but if something went wrong with the equipment, you could basically just shut it off very quickly right from the shutoff valve.